In this video, I'm going to talk about the multitasking in MUCOS 2. And also, I'm going to show you the embedded C program for multitasking using the Kiel software. There are a few important functions that are used in embedded C program. OS initialization, OS task create, OS start, and OS time delay, HM, SM. Now let us see these functions one by one. OS initialization, whenever this function is called, in the program, it creates two tasks. An ideal task, which executes when no other task is ready to run, and statistics tasks, which computes the CPU usage. OS task create, it has four arguments. The first argument is pointer to the task address. In the given example, we have used task one. Second argument is pointer to the data that we want to pass to the task when it first starts we are not passed any value to this task so we have written here null the third argument is task top of stack address and each task requires its own stack space each task in mucos 2 can have a different size and the fourth argument is priority of the task so it is very important that every task must have its priority so the lower the priority number higher the priority of the task OS start this function is called to start multitasking and once this function is started the control is given to the mucos 2 it is very important to create at least one task before calling this function OS start job is to determine which of all the tasks created is the most important task which means the task having the highest priority and start executing that task Next function we have OS time delay HMSM. HMSM stands for hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. In the given example, we have taken hours as 0, minutes 0, seconds 1, and milliseconds 0. So let us consider we have two tasks task 1 with priority number 1 and task 2 with priority number 2, which means task 1 has the highest priority than the task 2. So when this function is executed, that is OS time delay HMSM with one second delay, the task one is suspended, which means will not run for one complete second. And as because task one is suspended for one second, the mucos will start executing the next most important task. In our case, it will be task two, having a priority two. Now let me show you the embedded C program for the multitasking. So here in the project window, we have created three folders, app, mucos2, and arm. The arm folder will take care of the arm controller hardware. In the mucos2 folder, as you can see, there are several .c files. These are nothing but the services provided by the mucos. For example, mailbox, mutex, queues, semaphore, task. In the app folder, in the main.c, now this is a program for multitasking in mucos 2. Let's have a look at this program. So in the beginning, we have included few header files. Then we have created stack for three different tasks with the size 100 by using OS STK type. After that, we have created three tasks. This is task one, then task two and task three. In each task, we are turning on and off the LED in every task we have called OS time delay HM SM function. For example, in task two, we have called it for two seconds. In task three, it is for three seconds. In main function, we have used a pin cell register to configure the port zero as GPIO, and we have used IO direction control register to configure the port zero as output for LED. Then we'll initialize the operating system after that, we have created three tasks with their priorities. And finally, we'll start the operating system. Now let's translate this code, then build. So we have zero error, zero warning, and rebuild. Go to the start and stop debug session. Go to the peripherals. Select GPIO slow interface. Select port zero, and run the code. So you can see, this is a simulator output for the tasks one, two, and three. So thank you for watching this video.